Welcome to .programming.blogspot.com. This is my blog. Today I will show you a simple example of the paging in ESP.NET Core. So, so a list of uh, departments we have. There is a simple method through which we can show a department list by using for each loop and that using the tag helper control home actions road id and sp force okay now uh, thanks to reflection it uh, which is uh, which may provide a simple paging nuget package so use reflection it dot mvc dot paging it's a simple technique through which we can enable paging in our project after how to use this actually today i will show you how to use reflection it dot mvc dot paging package or you can say list of classes which is exists in the package how to use in esp.net code services dot add paging method must to include in configure service method and resolve by using reflection it dot mvc dot paging namespace okay it's the last now after doing this you can add some things in controller in the index first to set the default page is 1 so integer page equals to 1 and after doing this you can set the page size as well as ascending and descending order of the uh, departments uh, remove first of all remove await keywords from here because it we have not need here as no tracking dot order by and the order by is id or you can, as well as the name in this tutorial i have to use id for ascendings now in use a model use await keywords here we use paging list of reflection it yeah, that is paging list dot sorry paging list contain which class that is department class and created asynchronously means which item you want to created in the list that is item in the item we have a department the size is 5 and the default page is page that is 1 now comes to the section of the view first to set in place uh, you can uh, first to replace a enumerable Sorry, first to replace reflection it dot mvc dot paging list with the enumerable. Okay, in reflection it dot mvc dot paging dot paging list. Oops, it's getting error. Paging dot paging list actually, paging list. Oops, paging list list. Yeah, that's fine. Now, 
also use reflectionit.mvc.pazing uh, in using section now copy and paste is I think it's better yeah also use uh, a tag helper add tag if you have some master pages or the layout pages you can also add that tag helper in that section otherwise you can use it here okay reflection it dot mvc dot phasing that is the tag helper so provide the navigation properly in a particular so use the navigation section for your pagings one two three and the next and the previous button also is there await this dot component uh, invoke asynchronously is a method uh, use a pager name and the um, object name and our new paging list oops here we have p is a small and the paging list actually this is the route id this dot model yeah again use the navigation for the header and the footer section we see column pager the name is given there pager and paging list is model now save this and you can check your output uh, if you like this video please share this video also like this video and subscribe my channel because uh, I have to give you a be uh, better video tutorial and thanks to reflection it in you can check the uh, the whole code if you want to change your uh, page size 5 to 7 then you can make some changes here thank you again